video games are fun, and you can, whenever you feel like playing a certain one, you do it. However, some companies don't want their games up forever, so they'll make them inaccessible. Hey guys, DPX here, and uh, today we're counting down the best games you cannot play anymore, or at least good games you can't play anymore. This is a rather unfortunate list, as it's games that are really unaccessible. This isn't- these aren't games like you can't buy, or like you can't- Like if you have these games, then yeah, you can, you can play them, most of them at least. But most of them are inaccessible. And sure, if they're like online games, that they may have gotten private servers by fans, but I'm, I mean they were officially taken down. Also, uh, the, the only rule for this list is that I'm not including any online features of games, like I'm, I'm not including the Mario Kart Wii online, the Halo 2 online, not including the Metroid Prime Hunters online, none of that. It's just full-fledged games, or even uh, ways to play games that are completely inaccessible now. Yeah, this is going to be an unfortunate list, but here we go. I know what you're saying. Nintendo Badge Arcade? Seriously? That's not even a game. Well, I know it's not even a game. And most of the stuff you did, and it costed money. However, there was something about once a day where you, it didn't cost money. Plus, the real reason this actually makes the list is, it, it is because not only is it a cool thing to have on your 3DS and check once a day, but it's a cool and good representation of Nintendo. It's a nice callback, for lack of a better term, to Nintendo, and is rather unfortunate that the service is over. I mean, look, this is how it worked. Some of the badges were free. You went over to, like, the, the settings or something. Y you selected, like, badge. And look at this. Look. It, it, it's a cool thing. I find it to be really cool, and unfortunate that you can't do this anymore. Sure, if you have badges and stuff, you are you can already use th them badges, but it's unfortunate that you can't get the game now. Well, no, th th you see what happened here is that it always said that. Th 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 there's a system update required to play the game. So whenever you update the system, the game still doesn't work. Many reports and stuff do that, talked about that, and it, the servers are just down. RIP. Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventure is a pretty cool Zelda game that is hard to play, but you can play it. However, it's the Anniversary Edition that you can no longer play. I don't quite understand the full story behind this one. It's more, I believe, like, it was released on, like, the 3DS or DSiWare or something like that. And then was removed because Nintendo, I guess, didn't want it on there. But it's unfortunate because it was literally called The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventure Anniversary Edition. It was to celebrate the 25 years of Zelda, I don't think it was 25, it was something though. It was to celebrate an anniversary of Legend of Zelda, and now we can't play anything that represents 25 years of Zelda. Man, that sucks. RIP. Most Simpsons games are either hit or miss, just like the show now. However, the Simpsons arcade game is a hell of a lot of fun. It was ported to XBLA, you know, Xbox Live Arcade, and PSN, you know, PlayStation Network, 
in case you didn't know. But then got removed, probably for licensing issues. The only way to play the game now is if you find an arcade that has the si a Simpsons arcade cabinet, or you can use MAME, an arcade emulator, and get a ROM. Though the latter option may be at least be easier, there is no official easy way to play one of the best beat-em-ups ever made. RIP. The Nintendo Satella View is probably one of the most obscure consoles of all time. Well, it's not necessarily a console, but an add-on for the Super Famicom, you know, the Japanese SNES, where it gave you down downloadable gaming with games that have such titles I'll definitely butcher, like BS Excite Bike Bun Bun Mario Battle Stadium, which is just Excite Bike with Mario characters. BS, excuse me, Tentai Club Yuki ni Kiata Kako. BS Super Mario USA Challenge, BS Super Mario Collection, and BS Zelda no Densetsu. Wow, a lot of these like bullshit. And, and there's one Kirby's Toy Box that doesn't have BS in it. And uh, the, the Zelda one is just uh, the first Zelda on Super Famicom. It's inaccessible nowadays. The only way to play is probably an emulator, or maybe if you still have it. These have never been re-released or anything. And they really should, because though they're not, like, amazing games, a lot of them are, like, re-releases themselves, or reskins. They are pretty cool. And, uh, yeah. Rip. Saganet. What, you've never heard of Saganet before? Well... It was the first online service for any game, uh, correct me if I'm wrong there, but it's, uh, like, you, you know how there's Xbox Live and PSN, and now there's gonna be the Nintendo Switch online, whenever that's coming, and whenever, whenever we're gonna get more on that. Yeah, there was Sega Net for the Sega Dreamcast. I don't believe it works anymore, but there was one... That that bleh, that made games have online play. So that led to Fantasy Star Online. Fantasy Star Online is an MMO RPG in Sega's classic Fantasy Star franchise. Unfortunately, though, this game's servers are down. There are still fan-made private servers, but Sega has officially taken this one down. But they did release a sequel, uh, only in Japan. Yes, yeah, Sega, how about you stop releasing games like Sonic Forces and bring Fantasy Star Online 2 to the US? Not only will it benefit you and your fans, but it will also benefit the Sonic franchise. Yeah, th this game was one of the best games on the Dreamcast, and rightfully so, as it was a, a very early MMORPG on consoles. Yeah, this one will be missed. RIP. Konami. How greedy of a company. As a new game in the Silent Hills franchise called Silent Hills was being developed by Konami and gonna be published by Konami and had Kojima behind it Konami released PT which was short for playable teaser and it was a playable teaser for Silent Hills It was a nice experience, but Konami and Kojima had a shake-up of course I'm sure you all know about that and not only was Silent Hills cancelled unfortunately but PT was removed from digital stores. You can only still play it if you had the game when it was available. And don't delete it, because if you do, 
You can't get it back. Fuck you, Konami. Really. Rip. Oh, I'm sure you expected this one. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is a fantastic fighting game, probably one of the best of all time, as it has a roster of 50 plus fighters. Half from Marvel and half from Capcom. It was originally released on Dreamcast, Xbox, and PS2 and got ported to PSN and XBLA. However, it was removed and for reasons, I probably for licensing reasons or probably for reasons like, oh, check out our new Marvel vs. Capcom game, even though this does hold up as the best. Anyways, the only way to play it is if you already have the game on Dreamcast, PS3, or Xbox, the original one. Other than that, RIP. The Sega Channel was basically the exact same thing as the Nintendo Satellaview before the Sega Genesis and was released worldwide, so it was in America. Other games that released physically in other regions for the Genesis only released on S Sega Channel here. Games like Alien Soldier, which is the game you see now, uh, the, the game, the gameplay I'm showing you is from Alien Soldier, good game, as well as Mega Man The Wily Wars and Pulse Man, all hidden gems because they were never released in North America outside of Sega Channel, which is completely inaccessible nowadays, which gives these games the same fate. RIP. And when you clicked on this video, you knew that Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game, was gonna make the list. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is based off of the movie with the same name, that's based off of the novels with the same name. It's a retro-style 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up with some sweet-looking sprites. However, unfortunately, it was taken down off XBLA and PSN due to licensing issues, and the company behind this not wanting to renew the licenses, even though it's a fan favorite. That's unfortunate because this game is inaccessible, but th the reason it's so high is because it was a damn good game. RIP. Before we get to number one, and really, it should be really, really obvious. But before we get there, let's look at some other games that you sadly can no longer play. Okay, you can tell me that you can take down a game because of licensing, because of the servers and stuff, but you can't tell me that you're going to take down a game that many people were playing for some mobile game that's not even that good. Sure, Disney wanted this game to appeal to the mobile market, but they wanted to do that port this over to mobile, or at least don't take this down, instead of have the mobile game and this game. That would make more sense. There was such an outcry when, when this game was taken down. Club Penguin is a beloved game by many. I never personally got into it. I know a lot of you guys did. And it was unfortunate when it when it got taken down. And the Club Penguin Island, the mobile game, does not hold a candle to this. Rip. Okay. That's it for this video. I was making this video pretty much all day. 
but I'm happy it's over. Uh, so yeah, that that was a depressing list, though. Well, did did you uh, like the list? Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Do you not miss any of these games? Do you think they sucked? Do you think all of them were good? Which, if there's one, if there's one game on this list that you disagree with, tell me in the comments below. We could even have a discussion about it. I'm open for that. But yeah, that's it for this video. Be sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, and I'll, and I will not stop making YouTube videos. I will not take down my channel like these publishers took down their games. Okay, guys, goodbye.